You know, one of the reasons I like to, to present or lecture is because I, I really truly feel that we have sort of this problem in medicine today where it's become incredibly corporate, it's become a business, you know, everything is about how do we make more money and nothing is about how do we do things correctly. It's not about how do we educate correctly, how do we empower patients so they can make the right decisions for their body. It's about how can we continue to increase revenue so the guys in the ivory tower are happy with our performance. Um, I don't think I'm saying anything that you guys probably already don't know. Um, so that's one of the reasons I'm here today is, hey, how can we educate the population? How can we let them know about what some of the real science is so hopefully they can make good decisions for themselves and empower themselves in, in terms of what the right type of management is. So learning objectives today. Number one, we're going to talk about definitions in the pain management world. Number two, I uh, want to talk about the various types of pain. So there's, there, there's no such thing as just one type of pain. You know, it's not just like, oh, I have pain. It's not the case. That's like saying I'm alive. That doesn't mean anything. It's just like saying I'm a human being. That's wonderful, but there's different types of human beings. We need to identify what type of human being you are. We need to identify what culture you have, what socioeconomic status you have, what health status you have. You know, all those things play a role in who you are as a human being, which is why it's so important, by the way, if you do see a physician, that they're, they take a look at you as a human being they take a look at who you are and try to understand who you are. Try to understand the, experience, the experiences that you've had because they all shape who you are and they shape the way that your body interprets pain. So if you fundamentally don't understand the person in front of you, there's no way that you can actually adequately treat that person. Period. I'll repeat that. Okay? If the physician doesn't adequately understand the patient that's in front of them, there is no way that they can adequately treat you correctly. It's kind of like a car, okay? There's more than one type of car. Everyone agree? There's more than one type of car. You can't just say, I fix cars. If you don't know that model, if you don't know that make, you cannot fix that car correctly. If you've got an expensive Lamborghini and you go to your, you know, local whatever, I won't name names. I don't want to insult any, you know, <laughs> car company. I was going to say Yugo because, you know, remember the Yugos? Those little cheap little cars? Yeah, those are a long time ago. Maybe we could use them because they're not in business, so they won't come after me. Um, so you can't take a Lamborghini to a Yugo dealership. Those guys aren't going to know how to fix it, right? They need to fundamentally understand that car, that engine, you know, what has it been through, what, you know, so they can understand how to fix that thing correctly. So it's the same thing with physicians, okay? No different. So if your physician spends two minutes with you, I'm sorry. I really don't think that they're going to do a great job taking care of you. Um, so we need to understand the different types of pain. If we don't understand different types of pain, we can't treat them adequately. We need to discuss what central sensitization is. Central sensitization is a concept that is more than just a concept. It's real. It happens. It's a type of pain. We need to understand why it happens so we can understand how to treat it better. By the end of today's discussion, I promise you, you will actually have uh, been exposed to more information and probably have more knowledge about central sensitization than, than at least 90, 95% of physicians out there, which is wonderful but sad at the same time, right? Um, but again, it's about empowerment, right? It's about knowing what's going on so you can communicate that adequately to a physician. Talk about ketamine both as a molecule as well as a treatment option for central sensitization. Talk about ketamine infusions which is the delivery of a certain molecule in a specific way whereby we are reversing some of the pathologic processes that occur with central, central sensitization and some of the diseases that are encompassed by central sensitization. And finally, we'll discuss barriers to treatment. You know, we'll, we'll discuss all this wonderful information. You'll probably be like, wow, this, this is great. Why aren't more physicians, why aren't more hospitals, why aren't more people offering these options?